Salford, a city in the northwest of England with a population of 234,000 and 19,000 university students. But is this city safe for the students? We're on our way now to visit Tom, a boy who was attacked in his first week of living here. So, what brought you to Salford in the first place? Well, um, I've always been quite big on media and I wanted to do a media course. And I was looking around the market and obviously Salford University is like partnered with Media City, so I thought that would be the best bet for a media course. What was your perception of Salford before you came here? Um, well, the city, I've heard like stories and things, but you hear like those sort of stories about everywhere. Um, but my dad, like he works in Salford, so and his company employs a lot of ex-students. And they always say like, they say like mixed things, they're like Salford can be nice, but it can also be rough in some areas. So I thought just to best avoid like those areas. On the day of the incident, can you talk us through what happened? Um, yeah, well, it was, I just moved in, I think it was two days after I'd moved in and I was quite, like, pretty unfamiliar with the area. And one of my friends from home was visiting for like freshers and things. So I mean, he, he said like, it was a nice day. So he was like, why don't we have, just have like a wander around and see what, where everything is. So I was like, that sounds good. So we walked through campus to get a bearing of like what campus looks like. And then um, like we got to the front of Salford where like the big ambition sign is. And they had like this fair thing on. So we went up and they gave us like a free Diet Coke and we're like, y yes. And then um, I mean, like we, we went back around cause you, there's like a little slip road that goes down to the actual park. And it was like it was only like half twelve in the afternoon. That's why we, we like we didn't really expect anything. So walking through there, and we got to like the big middle path, and then um, we were just talking, and then we heard what have you got on you. So we were like we kind of both stopped and like looked around, and we didn't th we didn't really think he was talking to us. And then we saw somebody like coming towards us. So we were just looking at him, and he was like, "What have you got on you? What have you got on you?" And then we were both like, um, and then he pulled that like we saw in his right hand that he pulled out like a little knife. And he was like, what have you got on you? So we're like, me and my friend both froze and we're like, oh, oh no. And then um, he kept repeating like, what have you got on you? What have you got on you? And we, we both, like, we had nothing on us because we left everything back in the flat. So we both, like, we just completely froze and we like, weren't moving. And then I think he realised that we didn't actually have anything on us and he knew it'd be too much trouble. So he quickly like, put his knife away and ran off. And then we went to the reception of Peel Park and just told them what had happened. Peel Park is an area in Salford known for crimes, muggings and attacks. However, after a recent campaign by university students, they have installed new lights. After the incident, how was you feeling about going around the air of Salford? Um, I was a bit like I was a bit more cautious. Like I was definitely worried about it happening again and being in that situation because I completely froze. Um, I didn't think like oh, everywhere in Salford was like that, but it just made me a lot more weary of like the areas and to keep more of like wits about me when I was walking around. Have you heard any more stories of incidents happening in Salford? I've heard of like two people from, um like Peel Park like living in my camps who have been like mugged um in Peel Park and obviously like they've been walking there at night and things which isn't probably not the best idea but yeah I've heard a few incidents there. So the area of Peel Park like how would you describe it? <clears throat> um like during the during the day like you never think anything about it it just looks like a standard park but at night because my like building that I live in is facing outwards like my window faces towards Peel Park and you can't see anything in there because they've only got like the outsides lit. So inside, like it just it just doesn't look like a very inviting place, really. Like you can anything could happen in there, and no, no one could see it. After posting online and asking university students if they had any stories to tell, we got in contact with one man who wanted to remain anonymous. He was attacked in this alley twice. So, could you please tell us about your incidents? Well, as I said, I, I moved up here in September and um, nothing, I, I'd had no problems at all in Salford. I'd not had any direct problems with me, nothing had happened to anyone I really knew. Like in Salford anyway. Um, first term, went home for Christmas, came back, 
for second tournament. I went out on a night out with a couple of friends from Manchester Metropolitan. And uh, I decided after the night I walked home back to uh, Bramall Court <coughs> to meet some other friends. And literally there's a there's a lane next next to a park that's right directly next to Bramall Court. And it's sort of divided into two lanes and as I got to the second lane, uh, three lads who were just stood by the wall just sort of stepped out in front of me and I knew that it was what they were doing. So I had to, I fought fast and I just thought I knew they were going to go. So they pushed me and I thought do I just back down now and get my head kicked in and let them steal what I've got or do I just try and get out of this. So I literally swung my arms rapid just seeing if I could get anyone, hit anyone. And thankfully I, I got a few hits in. They only got a couple of poor smacks in and they they ran off. So I got on quickly, back to Bramall and got cleaned up. I scraped my hand a bit, a bit put some ice on my face and that was that. Stupidly, two months later, I decided to walk home alone again, back to Bramall. Uh, Exactly the same lane happened again, and uh, they were a little bit more aggressive, but they didn't run off. I sort of backed away and just got on after a fight. Again, poor punches, but they still attacked me. I grazed my arm, uh, hand, sorry, and my face was smacked. So. so, do you know any people that have had similar accidents? Um. Yeah, yeah, I've won, well, I know of one in Salford, which was a bit, could have turned nasty really, um, someone who's in second year now, who came up last year in their first year, they were walking home near Peel, Peel Park, which is, I've heard is not too safe, and um, so a gang just came out of nowhere and literally started shouting at him, and drew out a machete and chased him for a good five minutes he managed to lose them so that could have turned out for worst but uh yeah in i've heard of some a friend of mine in coma he was walking along to answer mansion and um for a night out and a bloke just came out of, of the side road and just said do you want to join buy some buy some drugs and my friend said no and he was like he drew out a blade and he said you're gonna buy drugs but you're gonna give me money at least and he unfortunately he had to give him the money, but that's that's what I've heard of. No one actually getting physically attacked, but it could have been in the end if they'd been caught or hadn't done what they'd been told to do. Has it the incident had any effect on your life since? Um embarrassingly I'd say yes. Uh as as strong as I'd like to think I felt during an directly after the incident. I definitely say that it has made me a lot more anxious and nervous. To start with, a few weeks after the, the first incident, I did actually end up having a, some health problems. I think brought on by an, like being anxious and, um, uh, yeah, can we stop, can we stop? We was contacted by Dimple Mira John, an ex Salford student currently living in India. In 2016, in August, she was busy completing her project when she was walking home at around three in the evening towards John Lester Eddy Common Courts. She was next to the police station and on the phone to her mum when two boys began to walk towards her. Due to being on the phone to her mum, she didn't take too much notice of the two boys approaching her. When all of a sudden, one of them sprayed her in the face with something her eyes began to sting. One of them then grabbed her phone, so she put her leg out to stop them moving. She looked up and the other boy looked at her in fear. He then sprayed her again in the face and her face began to burn even more. The boy then grabbed her phone and ran off. This is where the attack happened to Dimple, right next to a police station. As she regained sight, she noticed a woman walking towards her who asked her if she was okay. She helped her back to John Lester Eddie Coleman courts and the police were called. So was the ambulance who checked her and made sure she was all healthy. A statement was then taken. 
Dimple had this to say about the incident. It was a really frightening experience for an international student who has spent a lot of money to study here. These kind of incidents make us have a negative image of the developed nation, the UK. Somehow, I have a feeling that India is better and safer than the UK. The lights have since been put up in Pill Park and down Belvedere Road, a main road connecting the university to student halls. However, after approaching the police whilst filming, we was turned down for an interview and even filming them. However, they did have to say that if you look at the statistics compared to other cities, Salford is a completely safe city for students.